What was EncroChat and how was it being used as part of the Kinahan Cartel's international drug operations? Thanks for joining us at Crime Chronicles today as we look at what the police discovered about the Kinahans through the EncroChat network. So, firstly, what was EncroChat? EncroChat was a Europe-based communications network and service provider that offered modified smartphones that allowed encrypted communication among subscribers. It was no surprise that it was used primarily by organized crime members to plan criminal activities. Police infiltrated the network between March and June 2020 during a Europe-wide investigation. An unidentified source associated with EncroChat announced on the night of the 12th of June 2020 that the company would cease trading because of the police operation. The Kinahan cartel had used EncroChat as part of a plan to ship 350 million euros worth of cocaine to Europe in early 2020 through Spanish ports. Leaked phone messages have revealed that the elaborate plan involved local port workers who had been bribed to collect the drugs. Five separate shipments were set in motion to bring the drugs from South America, through Panama, and onwards to the port of Barcelona. Details of how the complex criminal super cartel operation worked have been revealed in copies of encrypted phone chats between the gangsters, according to the Spanish news outlet NIUS. The drug bosses openly referred to drug deals and budgets and agreed on how to split the cargo, believing their messages were completely secure. The chats also show how they recruited IT workers, dockers, crane drivers and even security guards at the Spanish ports in Algeciras and Barcelona to get the shipments into Europe. A 698 kilo shipment seized in a routine search at Valencia in 2020 led to the breakup of the operation and to dozens of arrests in Spain and Dubai. One of those arrested in Dubai as part of Operation Desert Light was Ryan James Hale, who was identified as Robbo by police in the intercepted messages. The 32-year-old is a suspected member of the Kinahan cartel and set up a group chat with six other suspected drug traffickers to organize shipments of cocaine. Hale's quick rise to the senior ranks of the Kinahan cartel left him worried about police attention and a plot by rival gangsters to kidnap him, according to the intercepted messages. We are going to load 700 kilos today for Barcelona. Your part is 30% of the charge, he wrote in a message on the 28th of February 2020. A Bulgarian suspect agreed and said that his men would be in charge of getting the drugs out of the shipping container without arousing suspicion. The intercepted messages included the gang's own records indicating that they had spent 440,000 euros in bribes to ensure smooth passage for the shipments. It seems that paying people to look the other way doesn't come cheap. But the messages also show that things did not always go to plan for the drug traffickers. At one point, they wanted one of the shipments from South America to be delayed because they wouldn't have any of their bribed inside men working in the port on the day it was due to arrive. One worker in their pocket was on sick leave and it would have been seen as suspicious if he turned up. Police believe at the same time the criminal gang had five separate shipments on the move including 630 kilos due from Costa Rica, 1,200 kilos ready to go to Rotterdam, another 2,000 kilos destined for Algeciras, and a smaller 90 kilos already shipped. Also on the messaging group was Panamanian citizen Anthony Alfredo Martinez Meza, who used the encrypted code LETRA and the nickname Hassan in EncroChat. His share of the consignment headed for Valencia was to be 130 kilos. He sent a photo of a container taken at the port of Manzanillo in Panama, in which the 690 kilo shipment would be found, writing in encrypted chat, the box has been sent to the scanner, the job will be finished in an hour. The shipping container, with a cargo of coffee, had originated in Nicaragua, and had been loaded with cocaine when it reached Panama. 
Martinez Meza was one of those arrested in Dubai as part of an international police operation targeting Europe's super cartel. He sent an expletive-filled post when it was discovered by the cartel that their 690 kilo shipment had been found by customs in Valencia. He knew there were problems according to the messages revealed by the NIUS, telling the head of the Irish group he had been alerted by the police that the container was considered suspicious. Martinez Meza operated under the radar in Panama for many years and was the registered owner of a number of legitimate companies in the seaport of Colón in Panama. It is claimed Martinez struck a deal with Daniel Kinahan in 2017 after the arrest of Peruvian drug lord El Rico left the Kinahans needing a new partner. The pair are believed to have invested in mega shipments including the one containing almost 18 tonnes of cocaine seized in Philadelphia en route to Antwerp and Rotterdam in 2019. Although many gangsters on the intercepted encrypted networks are low-level figures, the conversations have also helped law enforcement officials build detailed cases against high-value targets. Daniel Kinahan was one of those high-value targets. The US Treasury describes Kinahan as an Irishman who leads an organization that smuggles deadly narcotics to Europe and is a threat to the entire licit economy through its role in international money laundering. Sports fans may also know Kinahan as the former owner of MTK Global, a boxing management company. He was the man whom Tyson Fury, the World Boxing Council heavyweight champion of the world, publicly thanked for arranging two title bouts against Anthony Joshua. Of course, these comments by Fury sparked outrage, and he has subsequently distanced himself from Kinahan. In 2017, Kinahan got married at the seven-star Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai. The guest list for the wedding was soon pinned to the walls of international police agencies. The list included Ridwan Taghi, a senior figure in the Mokro Mafia currently on trial in the Netherlands for several murders and attempted murders. Another name on the list is a Bosnian who goes by the name Tito, whom the DEA describes as one of the world's top traffickers. Alrico Vega, a Chilean Dutchman who was convicted in the Netherlands two years ago of laundering drug money and leading an assassination ring, was another name on the list. Another high-profile guest at the wedding was Rafael Imperiale, a senior figure in the Camorra family who has since become a state's witness. According to a Europol officer, at the time of the wedding, these high-level criminals were considered to be only working independently of each other. But Sky ECC intelligence, coupled with testimony from a Dutch witness, who can only be known as Nabil B, showed that the wedding had doubled as a business meeting for a giant Irish, Bosnian, Chilean, Dutch, Moroccan, Italian crime consortium. The group became known to law enforcement as the Super Cartel. The Sky ECC intelligence indicates that the group, among other trafficking activities, established an investment fund for shipments of cocaine. Irish investigators believe that the Kinahan cartel is financing huge drug shipments as part of the super cartel. One Europol investigator noted that criminal networks are making deals amongst themselves to lower the risks when it comes to the detection and loss of financial assets and when it comes to multi-million ton cocaine shipments. In other words, they are acting like normal businessmen. Closing down the EncroChat network was a major blow to international organized drug trafficking and surely hit the Kinahan cartel where it hurts, in their pocket. The US government still has a $5 million bounty available for information that leads to the capture and prosecution of senior Kinahan cartel members. Sadly, information obtained from the intercepted EncroChat network seems to indicate that the Kinahans and other members of the super cartel are operating in ways that keep them above the law, for now. Thank you for joining us on Crime Chronicles today. If you like the story, please like, subscribe and share the channel with your friends.